All right. Praise God. Jesus bless this message. In Jesus' name I pray. And I plead the blood of Jesus on it. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Again, thank you guys for my birthday wishes and those of you that are giving me birthday gifts that I teach. Thank you so much, you guys. And since we're talking about uh, gifts, birthdays, gifts, Christmas, whatever, let's talk about gifts from God. Okay? Going to be in Luke. Uh, right there. Chapter 2. Luke chapter 2, <clears throat> excuse me, verses 8 through 14. And it says, Now, there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger, and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Okay. Uh, hey, let me ask you something. When, when was the last time that you failed to get a gift, especially on Christmas? Or your birthday. Probably everyone here has gotten at least one gift under under the Christmas tree somewhere. Right? And some of you have been dropping hints for the past six months about what you want for Christmas or for your birthday. Um, let's make this about Christmas. So, so you've been uh, walking past your tree, uh, looking for your name, and uh, shaking the packs to see what was in those packages. And right now, those uh, anticipation level is high. Right? Waiting to see what gifts you're going to receive. Well, I want to start off your Christmas kind of early right now on my birthday. We're going to start Christmas right here because we're in the season. As we just read in Luke 2, 8 through 14, there's some gifts available today to some of you that may need to be reminded of and, and some may not have ever gotten before. Okay. Let's talk about these gifts from God. That gift is Jesus. Jesus is God's gift to every single one of us, okay? What is Christmas actually about? I know what the devil made it about, but what is it really about? It's about Jesus. Satan tries to make good things look evil and evil things look good. Christmas is about Jesus, okay? The world has commercialized and sanitized Christmas today. But the opinion of the world don't change the fact, y'all, that Christmas is about Jesus, okay? Uh, Jesus is God's gift to me and to you, to all of us. Jesus had a purpose for coming into this world. He came to bring his Father glory. He came into this world for us. God gave Jesus to us. Okay? Jesus brings us a few gifts along with him. He brings us forgiveness, right? Everyone has a need for forgiveness. Every single one of us have sins that are on our conscience and on our minds, right? And we might hide them from people that's around us and try to bury it in ourselves. But God knows it's there. And we can't escape that or its consequences, right? Amen? The gift of Jesus is that forgiveness, right? We can be released from our sins. Can you put an amen in the comment section for that? That's what he came here for. Jesus came to free us, y'all, from our sins. 
through him, we can be cut loose from that burden of sin. Amen. Our conscience, our minds can be released from that guilt of sin. We can be pardoned from our sins. Okay. Every single one of us is responsible to God for every single sin we've ever committed. And through Jesus, we can be pardoned from the penalty of sin. Jesus was born to die for our sins. And God offers the gift of forgiveness to anyone who will come to his son today. Another gift God gives us through Jesus is hope. If there's one gift, y'all, that our world needs today, it's hope. Amen. The world is uh, so cynical today. So many people live defeated lives today and they don't have no hope of anything any better. I'm dealing with one on my Facebook right now. People are just digging for anything that offers them something better. They'll do anything. If they find someone who pretends to care, they always come up disappointed, which just adds to their cynical views, like the one I'm talking to on my Facebook page right now. I can hear the hurt, even though he's cutting God down and cutting every everything about the Lord down. He's hurting. He's digging for some, some hope. The gift of Jesus is hope. And I'll tell you, like I told you in my other video, and I'm telling you now, there is someone who cares, okay? God cares. We care. God cares so much yeah, that he sent his son to die for you. Amen. He's there, and he wants you to come to him. Understand that. There is hope, and there is meaning in life, okay? Jesus is hope. He is meaning. He can fill your life with hope and meaning, okay? And he has a purpose for your life, and he's waiting for you. You understand? Now, this gift God gives us through Jesus is extremely, it's something we should all be reaching for. It's the gift of eternal life. This world, I told you many times right here, is not all there is to life. Some people are so disappointed with their lives, right? They don't have any hope. They got no meaning. Don't see no reason to live. You know my testimony. And Satan tried to hit me a second time with that. Other people think that this is all that there is. And they do anything to gain pleasure and material goods. Right? Because they think that's all there is. <laughs> they spend all their lives pursuing happiness and joy, right? But they find it is always elusive. It's an illusion. The gift of Jesus, y'all, is eternal life. All you got to do is accept him and give your life to him. He offers us, y'all, the promise of heaven. What is heaven? Just a beautiful place full of gold and riches? It is where God is. It's God. It's God's presence. Holy, man. Perfection. This world is just like a, it's ain't nothing but a bus station on the way to either heaven or hell. That's what this is. Jesus offers us a place where there's no pain. There's no sorrow. There's no depression. There ain't no fighting, no hopelessness, no tears. There's no death. Do you understand? Jesus offers me and you eternal life with him. Your spirit, which is all your five senses, all your senses, heightened, heightened. Your soul, your mind, will, your emotion, is all goes with you, y'all, at a heightened level. Your physical body right now is protecting your spirit from what it can really, is supposed to feel. What I mean, you burn your finger, you're going to feel it's going to hurt, going to bliss or hurt. But without your physical body, your spirit senses are heightened. 
So you experience heaven at a level we can't experience it while we're here. So we get a little dose of heaven here on earth as we get close to God. As we get close to Jesus and accept him and live. Let him finish his life through us. He offers us a home. A permanent home of unspeakable peace and joy. In 1 Corinthians 2.9 it says, but as it is written, what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him, you can't even imagine it. You can try, you can come up with your own images, but it ain't even close. Not even close. You can't get close till you get there. God's got a place prepared for every single one of you. That's his gift to you through Jesus Christ. Jesus brings us the gift of salvation. I can't give you that gift. I can only show you the way. You can't give anybody that gift. You can only show them the way by living it yourself and defending the name of Jesus to the death. God offers this gift. All you got to do is receive it. And I'll tell you something, as I've told y'all many times, nobody gives to receive. Well, maybe some people do, but we shouldn't. I don't. I give to y'all every single day on here, all my time, in emails, videos, Google Meets, one-on-one -on -one Google Meets, phone calls, text messages, whatever. I'm a giver. I'm a doer. But some people have a hard time receiving when some people tries to give you a gift, some people will, they, they're so, well, let me put this way. I have, I have a family member who I've tried to give gifts to, and they make you feel bad for trying to give it to them. And that's not being humble. Humble yourself. If somebody's trying to give you a gift, they're trying to do something good from their heart. Receive it. Humble yourself and receive it. That's being humble. All right, take that and give your life to Jesus Christ, y'all. Again, thank those of you for my birthday gifts. I love you. I appreciate you, and I'm thankful you appreciate me. I work very hard for the Lord and for you. Thank you guys so much for caring about me. I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. All right, make Jesus Lord of your life. Repent if you need to repent. Repent. Examine your life today. What are your thoughts? Are they impure? Are they ugly? What were your words today? Were they pure and, or were they ugly? Repent, y'all, and change it. That's your willpower. That's what you got to do. All right? Honor and obey God. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another lesson. In Jesus' name, God bless each one of you. Anything you need is in the description on the videos. God bless you.